everybody. Um, my name is Jens Josephson, and I'm delighted to chair this first session on learning from financial markets. Um, so just some information about the structure. So the idea is to have 20 minutes presentation, 15 minutes for the discussant, and then 10 minutes overall discussion. Okay. Uh, and I'm very happy to introduce the first speaker, who is John Wang uh, from UC Irvine, who will talk about how does stock market affect corporate instruments. Okay, so you have 20 minutes. All right. Thank you very much for including this paper in the program. Uh, very happy here to talk about this paper. Um, the, this is a joint work with uh, Itai Gostein, uh, who has just told you how important this question is yesterday. Uh, and uh, uh, another co-author is Chi Guang from Hong Kong Baptist. So before we talk about finance, let's talk about something. Um, uh, yeah, uh, football or soccer in US, we call it soccer. Uh, so Juventus, uh, last this is the um, stock price last year, uh, end of June and early July. We find that the stock price was uh, very stable before July for, uh, 4th, but at July 4th, the price jumped a lot. So the key reason is there uh, was a rumor about the Cristiano, all right? So um, the, the rumor says uh, that uh, the club will buy Cristiano at a price like um, 100 million. But then after this rumor um, leaked, the price jumped a lot. And finally, the club bought uh, Cristiano at a price one, uh, 110 million. Is that right? Yeah, I think it's right. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, so this uh, just gives some idea about the relationship between a uh, relation between stock market and investment. So that's what we uh, will talk about. I will talk about is the investment sensitivity to price today. So we find that uh, there are a lot of empirical, so like Yitai mentioned yesterday, a lot of empirical studies have documented uh, the strong positive uh, relation between stock market and investment. Um, I will refer you to their uh, uh, survey paper, and in short, we just call it investment price sensitivity. However, um, there's still no agreement on the reason why there is a strong, um, strong relation. Um, so one hypothesis is correlated information channel due to the correlated in, um, correlation between managers' uh, private information and the information in the market. So because the pri uh, managerial information will determine, uh, will determine the uh, investment and the speculator private information, or, or I would call it speculator, or you can think it's like investor, um, the private information will determine the price. So if the two, information, uh, two sources of information are correlated, then uh, the um, investment and price will be correlated. So but another very important channel is the managerial learning channel. So what that is? Um, let me put more structure on that. Uh, it's, um, this is the informational feedback loop. The um, speculator will produce and uh, use their information to trade. And then their trading will form the price. So this is the price formation process, and then we get the stock price. The stock price then will aggregate partially the information in the market and send back this price signal to speculators and also send a signal to the manager. So the manager will then learn from the stock price, uh, pr the price signal, and then make the investment decision. However, all this feedback loop in equilibrium will be um, understood by the speculator, and the speculator will then take into account how the manager will respond to the price signal then to make the trading decision. So that's the feedback loop. So we can see um, the structure is simple. So uh, in this paper, we will pro propose a general theory about this uh, informational structure. Um, the reason why we want that is, uh, OK, in the literature, this idea has been um, formalized and analyzed in several specific settings. So in all those settings, um, because they are uh, the papers in the literature are analyzing specific questions, therefore, they make the assumption about special payoff functions or binary random economic um, foundation fundamentals or binary choices. This is purely because uh, of tractability or just 
aim for uh, solving some specific question. However, we still know less about the general properties about how uh, about the informational feedback. So in this paper, we'll try to provide a tractable model um, uh, with a general functional form, very, very uh, mild restrictions on the payoff function. And then we want to have continuous economic fundamentals, also the continuous choice, so that we can analyze how the stock market will affect the corporate investment. And we will still try to provide the new identifications for test of managerial learning hypothesis. So that's the aim of this paper. So the new insight we find in this paper is uh, provide in this paper is let's you know the price and the investment are both endogenous. So to analyze the relation between two endogenous variables, we need some exogenous shock. So we consider an exogenous shock the uh, noise trading in the financial market. Then the exogenous shock will only affect the investment price sensitivity through price signal only. So as I mentioned, the pri uh, stock price will send signals to both the speculators and the manager. Then this shock will affect the price signal only, then the investment price sensitivity will can, uh, can be decomposed and all, I should say, can be rewritten as the ratio be, uh, of the, stock, uh, the shock effect on investment to the shock effect on the price. So the shock effect on investment represents just manager learning and the shock effect on price will arise um, from speculative learning. And the speculative learning can be further decomposed into two um, factors. One is speculators need to update their belief about the two economic fundamental. And the second, the speculators will anticipate what, how the manager will respond to the uh, price signal. So this, we find that the race between managerial learning and the speculative learning will determine how price informativeness affects corporate investment and the investment price sensitivity. So that's the, uh, the new insight. And let me uh, just briefly preview the result. First, uh, as I mentioned, the price informativeness is the product, uh, is endogenous, is the product of the pre precision of speculative private information and the precision of random supply shock. Therefore, either when either precision increases, the price informativeness will increase. And if uh, either precision converts to zero, then the price will become almost uninformative. Then we find that the first result is different precisions. These two precisions will have different effect on investment price sensitivity. First, if we consider the global monotonicity, so as the price informativeness increases, how the investment price sensitivity will change globally, we find that the speculator signal, when the speculator signal precision increases, the um, investment price sensitivity will decrease, is likely to decrease. And then if the, this is the supply shock precision increases, then the, global, uh, the investment price sensitivity will first increase and then decrease, all right? And another result is the asymptotic um, result. So that is when the either precision converts to zero, then the price becomes almost uninformative. Then intuitively, we should uh, expect that the, um, the uh, managerial learning also becomes very trivial. However, we find that the investment price sensitivity will uh, become trivial when the random supply shock precision co converts to zero. However, if it is the speculator private signal precision converts to zero, then this uh, investment, investment is still sensitive to the price. Another result is we find that the price informativeness will have direct effect on investment. This direct ef effect is not through affecting investment price sensitivity. So that's the uh, preview of the result. Let me quickly jump to, uh, so the, these two uh, results, uh, two and three, will have some empirical implications. So we, uh, say, uh, we think that these two um, results will have provide two new identifications for the managerial learning hypothesis. One is we, if we find different uh, precisions will have different effect on investment price sensitivity, then it's li more likely to be the um, to support the managerial learning hypothesis because under the correlated information hypothesis, we do not distinguish these two uh, precisions. We just consider price informativeness. Uh, second, the noise uh, precision will have direct effect on corporate investment. So if we are uh, under the correlated information hypothesis, 
only we can only we also only consider uh, price informativeness. Uh, when price informativeness increases, the price signal is more correlated with the um, the managers uh, manager learning. So the price informativeness uh, informativeness shouldn't have direct effect. So I, I will try to uh, explain more details later. So let me jump to the model. It's a very general model. So the manager want to maximize uh, some uh, choose I. So let's call it investment. Choose I to maximize this uh, objective function. Pi is the payout function, or you can think this is the value of the firm. And the delta I is the private cost. And we can see that the manager will make uh, the this investment decision conditional only on the stock price. So the result will be true uh, if the manager also have private information, but uh, let's shut down this correlated information channel first, just analyze the managerial uh, learning hypothesis. So the manager will based on the stock price to make an investment decision. So you can see we have very general functional form. So because we want to, we try to get uh, general properties. Oops. Uh, there's a continuum of risk neutral speculators with measure one. Each speculator I will uh, maximize this payout function. So if I buy D I is I, if I buy one shell, then I will enjoy this amount of asset payoff. But I need to pay the uh, I, because I'm buying, so I need to pay the price. So the private signal uh, speculator I before trading can uh, will observe a private signal which uh, has the linear uh, structure. And then the private signal noise epsilon i will have is normally distributed with mean zero and the precision gamma. So this is pre uh, the gamma is what I called uh, the private information precision. So then the uh, speculator will submit a demand scheme. That means give me a price. I will I want this amount of share. There is a random supply shock. Uh, so the random supply noise will be uh, the psi. And the beta is the precision of random supply precision. And we'll see how gamma and the beta affect the investment. The in equilibrium, manager will uh, make the uh, investment decision in the following way. So this model is generally rather intractable. However, we find a new way to solve it. Uh, Instead of guessing the demand function, because demand function is uh, nonlinear anyway, so we guess how the manager will update the, his uh, belief. Then we find that the manager will, uh, we assume that the manager will update belief, uh, and the based on the price, the belief will be uh, this uh, normally distributed with this updated mean and updated variance. And then we finally verify this is true in equilibrium. Then the manager will max, uh, want to maximize his expected payoff, and we can write down as a journal function like this. And the equilibrium investment will be the first order condition. Okay? And each speculator I, because uh, it, uh, the speculator is risk neutral, so the speculator will have a cutoff strategy. If the cutoff is, uh, if his signal is uh, higher than some cutoff, he will buy one. If lower, then we'll short one, but uh, the cutoff will be price dependent. Okay, so then we can have market clearing condition, and the market clearing condition will lead to this equation, and we can define Z equals to GP, the, uh, the cutoff, as the price signal. So because you can see Z, conditional on Z, we have a distribution of V, and this is normal. So we can find that uh, the condition on V, the, uh, the price signal is also normally distributed with mean V and the precision beta. So this is the price informativeness, gamma times beta. All right? And we find that GP is nonlinear. So that's the difficulty in solving the, uh, the model. And the ma mar marginal speculator, there is a continuum of speculators, and the marginal speculator is the speculator whose private signal is just the price signal. They are the same. So the marginal speculator will update belief based on two signals. So uh, we can see this is also normal with this updated mean and the variance. And the uh, important thing is that this is the uh, information wedge because the speculator and the manager observe the same signal realization. However, they update their beliefs differently. Okay, especially because the speculator will based on his own private signal to make it uh, to update belief. 
So the indifference condition will determine the price. Okay. What? Oh. All right. So let's decompose the investment price sensitivity. So consider a change of random supply shock, delta psi. So this is an exogenous shock. So this exogenous shock will in, in, uh, affect the investment as speculator payoff through the price signal only. All right. So that will lead to delta z. Then we can decompose the investment price sensitivity into this way. We can find that when the price change a little bit, how the signal of uh, the, the investment will change. However, this change, the price change, is from the um, price signal change. So we find that this uh, nominate, uh, numerator is actually the manager learning, and the denominator is the speculator learning. And importantly, this uh, speculative learning is, uh, so P is not linear in Z, so uh, the uh, speculative learning is not a constant. Oops. Okay, so we, we do, uh, we derive everything here, uh, it's just for managerial learning, we have the update, uh, belief updating. For man, uh, speculative learning, we have belief updating and the anticipation effect. Anticipation effect is the speculator, when observe a price change, will anticipate how the manager will change his investment decision. Now, get the intuition about the asymptotic result, how the race between managerial learning and the speculative learning will determine the investment price sensitivity. We can find that when gamma goes to zero or beta goes to zero, the price becomes almost uninformative, and the price signal, if it's gamma goes to zero, that's the private information uh, precision goes to zero, the price signal becomes uh, purely noise. And then private signal also becomes pure noise. That is, the managerial learning and the speculative learning both are trivial, okay? They are both trivial. Therefore, their ratio, the ratio of these two learning, the race, is at the same speed. So finally, asymptotically, the investment price sensitivity will converge to a constant number is bounded away from zero. Therefore, even if this, all the signals are almost the pure noise, we still have the investment sensitive to the price. But the different thing here is you can find that the uh, when beta, the random supply precision goes to zero, the price signal is a pure noise, almost a pure noise. But investors can still update their beliefs based on their own private signal. So their private signals are still informative then we find that managerial learning is trivial, but speculative learning is non-trivial. So the investment will become un not sens insensitive to price. So this is the asymptotic result. Um, I don't have time so, uh, to talk about the global uh, monotonicity, so I just tell you the result. Uh, if this is the effect of beta and the gamma, the uh, private information precision and the random supply shock precision, they will have the global effect on investment price sensitivity. You can see that it's if this is the um, as an increase of private information precision, it can be li it's very likely to decreasing. And with some other parameters, it can increase. Also, for beta increase, that the random supply shock precision increases, we find that the investment price sensitivity will first increase and then decrease. Okay. Right, that's the, uh, how many minutes do I have? One? Two minutes. Two, okay. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I don't think, think I have time, but the, the intuition is still from the race between um, investment, uh, uh, between manager learning and the speculative learning. That's determining all the global monotonicity. Um, one key thing is here, you can see manager learning is here, and anticipation effect is how the investor will anticipate the manager response to the uh, price change and the investor also have the belief updating. Uh, the key thing is when gamma increases, the numerator the manager learning increases, but the uh, investor learning also increase, and the, the denominator will increase faster than the uh, numerator, so we can find that the investment sensitivity will is likely to decrease. But if it is the, uh, random, supply, uh, the, the uh, random supply shock precision increases, at the very beginning when it's very small, the um, managerial learning, so this part, belief updating, is trivial, okay, uh, for the, um, it is because, uh, uh, sorry, it's almost a constant, 
because speculators still update belief based on their own private information. But these two guys will both increase, then uh, it's a very simple algebra to show that this uh, first increase, and then later this guy also increase, so the denominator will increase faster than the numerator. So uh, the final result we derive is the direct effect. You can see, uh, let's go back to the first order condition of uh, the investment. If we want to consider the direct effect, that means the um, price signal, uh, the, the uh, price informativeness will affect the investment not only through, uh, not through the uh, affecting the investment price sensitivity. So fr from the first order condition, we can find that the price informativeness will definitely affect the, uh, how, how the um, belief updating about mean and the variance. So there's a direct effect. And let me conclude. Uh, so we uh, try to provide a general theory about uh, informational feedback. We, derive, we find that uh, the uh, different um, precisions will affect the investment price sensitivity differently. Also, the price informativeness will affect the investment directly. So this too will provide potential identifications for, uh, for the test of managerial learning hypothesis. Thank you.